Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm in the UK at the moment but I wanted to start this video here. I am actually traveling to Australia tomorrow. I'm, I'm going with the watch brand Long Jeans which is just so exciting for me. Ali has been working with them and traveling with them for a very long time and he loves working with them so for me to be able to go on this trip and work with them is so exciting. We're going for the Commonwealth Games and oh my gosh. I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, you guys already know how I feel about traveling sometimes, especially long haul. So I am nervous, and obviously as well, because I'm still in love with my home so much, I don't really want to leave, but this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for us. We're gonna be at the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games, and we're gonna be there with the official sponsors. So for me, I am excited. So I thought that I would do kind of like the packing process with you guys from home, getting ready, getting there in the first few days and uh, then finish off whilst we're there. It might end up being just one vlog, you never know. But um, the long jeans photo shoots that we'll do out there with Sam Bisso, they're very like fashion focused, very classic and chic styling. So I've got to pick out my favorite outfits that I want to style myself in whilst we're there. Ugh, got hair in my mouth and I've already picked out a long jeans watch that I want to add to my collection it's so beautiful I saw it at the airport on the way back from Dublin and yeah I really want to get my hands on it I'm in actually quite comfy attire I'm supposed to be taking this jumpsuit with me to uh, Australia so I may have to wash it before I go um, but it's so comfortable that it's perfect for like bumming around the house this is my Tibby jumpsuit from Net-a-Porter I'll link it <laughs> what is this hair where, oh there it is, yeah, I will link it down below in the description box uh, if anyone wants to pick it up. I wore it to my meetup with Elizabeth Arden, so you might have seen it in that video. I have to do a lot of editing today, so this is probably going to be quite a small portion of the vlog, but I thought that we could plan some outfits together and pack and get ready and then make our way over there. But other than that, I am so, so excited for this opportunity. I feel really lucky to have been invited and I'm so excited to meet the Long Jeans team and to shoot with them and to experience the Commonwealth Games in such an exceptional way. So let's get started on this Australian adventure then. <laughs> so if I look a little bit tired, it's because I've been down in the basement editing. I got two videos edited. I've still got one to go, but it looks like um, we're going to have people over to watch the boxing because to be honest, the more tired we are, the better, because we need to not sleep on the first flight, which is seven hours, and then we need to sleep on the second flight, which is 14 hours. Yeah, I think we're gonna have people over to watch the Anthony Joshua fight. However, I have not packed yet, so that is the first thing that I'm going to do, and I thought I would do it with you. So I'm gonna grab a rail, and we're gonna go through some bits that I'm gonna take with you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna initially pick the things that I think that I need to take with me, and then um, style them up and then I'm just gonna pack them to be honest because I'm tired and I just wanna chill out. <laughs> so, I've got my rail. So I'm taking this dress. Uh, this is the self-portrait dress that I haven't worn yet, still got the tags on. I ordered a jumpsuit for Australia and because it's a four day weekend, it hasn't been delivered because I went to purchase it and I couldn't purchase, so oh, it was just a bit of a nightmare. So this is the only dress that I've got. We've got to wear a long dress on one of the nights. So I thought I'd take this one with me, seeing as I haven't um, worn it yet. So I'll pop that there. Uh, I'm also going to take this dress, because this is always an absolute winner. This is, sorry, this is my Joseph dress that I got from Netta Porte, and um, this just always looks so good whatever the weather so i'll take that with me it's quite classic and quite simple then i am going to take my joseph trousers as well because these are again also nice and simple and uh, flattering i am going to take some jeans and things with me to wear whilst we're there i've actually got a load of clothes that are downstairs that have been washed so i'm probably better off going and grabbing those first and putting those away because yeah, <laughs> I also look like such a tramp. It was freezing downstairs. I thought I'd better turn the lights on as well because it's getting quite dark now because it's a bit later on. It's about five or six o'clock. If you hear noises, it's because we've got the TV guy around. He's fitting the TV in the gym. He's sorted out our Sky Q as well. So lots happening at the moment. I'm gonna start making piles for like underwear and stuff.
Good morning everyone from sunny Australia. It's actually not that sunny today and it's been raining but I feel like we need to catch up before we do any more on this vlog. So you would have last seen me planning my outfits to head out here. Might get a little bit noisy because I'm by a road. <laughs> um, basically I was really, really anxious about this flight. I've always said that I would never be able to go to Australia because of the flight, because of the bugs, because of all of those things. So this was really, really nerve wracking for me and I was panicking, I was like tight in my chest and the fact that I was vlogging at the same time was kind of making that a bit worse. So I cut my losses, I stopped vlogging and I was like, we've got the beginning, we've kind of spoken about why I'm here and we can kind of pick this up when I get there because the notion of me going on this flight was just, oh my God, it was, <laughs> I can't tell you how it felt in my tummy. Our friends then came round that night. This is the team for Long Jeans Behind, by the way. But our friends then came round that night and we watched the boxing, but even they were like, oh my God, we can see how anxious you are. I was quiet. I just, like, I could not, I couldn't socialize because I was so nervous. If you don't know, I have kind of a, a bit of a fear of flying and I've overcome it a lot because of my job. Um, I don't I don't want to let it stop me but in the same breath I always thought that this was just that little bit too far this is the other side of the world and I was yeah I was really really nervous so I'm not trying to ham it up a little bit but I did what I had to do in order to like cope with what was kind of coming so anyway we got the first flight I think we had two hours sleep which actually at the end of it I was really glad that we only had two hours sleep in the UK because when we got the first flight to Dubai, I slept the entire way there. If you didn't see the Insta stories of Ali filming me when I was asleep, I was literally the biggest sloth ever. The flight was perfect, it was really good. We stopped off in Dubai and then we caught the next flight from Dubai to Brisbane. And there was quite a lot of turbulence. That was a 14 hour flight, so we did a seven hour and then a 14 hour. And there was a bit more turbulence, but I slept for the first kind of seven hours because as soon as I got on the plane in London, I set my time to Australian time, Brisbane. So I knew that I was working to that time, like that time zone. So it was really good. I slept through the night in Australia time and then I woke up in the morning in Australia. And then by the time we landed, it was like 5 p.m. and we got a taxi here and we met the team. This was me meeting the team for the first time. And they're all so nice. We're shooting with Sam Bisser. He is such a legend. I've just finished up shooting my first look of the whole trip. I'm only doing two looks here, which is quite cool, but I've just done my first one. The weather has been a little bit temperamental this morning. So um, it's like been raining and it's a bit cloudy at the moment. It's not really that sunny, but we're at the 23rd floor of the Marriott Hotel and it's amazing. The views are so cool. So I'm gonna show you like our hotel room when we get back because my bath is literally floating. It's insane. Um, and then tonight we have uh, a black tie event with long jeans. So I've got my uh, official watch of the Commonwealth Games on at the moment from long jeans. I'll link this down below. Um, I absolutely love their watches. So this is, this is just really exciting. I'm gonna go down. I think they're doing some product shots at the moment. And then I think that Ali's shooting. I think we're shooting at some other locations today. But then I've got a free day until this evening. So I hope it's been good catching up. And I'm in full Gymshark gym shark attire. And um, I will speak to you in a bit. Holding hands while screaming at each other. running back to the hotel because we both need a wee. This one is here. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain again. It's like being in England. It's so lovely. We traveled all this way for English weather. weather with us, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come home with me tonight. Run away with me. It be worth the time. Run away with me. I made you feel alright. Run away with me. And I'll be good.
the room and I've finished up shooting. I've had breakfast, I've had a coffee, and I've done my hair, and I'm feeling much more like myself. I feel a little bit tired, but I think that might be the fact that I got up at half four. Um, Ali's finished up shooting as well. He's there geeking out on his camera, but we're gonna go and take and explore and uh, see what is around in the area at the moment. So we might go down to the beach and we might go and just explore places because we don't have to be ready now until, well, I don't have to be ready until half five. Ali has to be ready at four. So yeah. It's nice to have some time. I, I wish that we were shooting in like early in the morning tomorrow as well so that we could go out and explore. It's so annoying. We're like in the middle of the day tomorrow, but maybe we can explore in the morning. We'll see. This is my outfit to go exploring. I've got my Chloe sandals, which you will have seen a million times on this channel. Um, this is probably like, what the third or fourth year that I'm wearing these sandals. They were the best money I ever spent. They're so comfortable, but they give you a little bit of elevation and they also are kind of like gladiator sandal style. So I love, love, love them. I don't think they sell them anymore, which is such a shame, um, but I'm so glad that I got them anyway. I'll see if I can find dupes or something. And then I've got this dress. And what is this brand? Neve Anor. Oh yeah, it's Neve Anor. Um, and I've got like a pink one of this and then I've also got some other dresses and I think they're all like handmade in uh, London and I met the lovely owner as well and I just I, this is like the second year that I'm wearing this I wore it last summer and then I've got my Chloe Nile bag which is very much still in stock in so many different colorways as well I love this bag and I'm so glad that it's like still in fashion and not like gone out I really was worried that this was kind of like a trend bag but I'm so happy anyway um, Ali is waiting for me and we are gonna go and explore Surface Paradise. I have not really spoken to you much today, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, we finished up shooting and Ali and I went and explored. We found ourselves in kind of like the tourist area in um, Surface Paradise and we just walked kind of all along there and then walked back along the beach. The beach was lovely actually, but it was quite windy today so I couldn't really get my uh, camera out and vlog when I was there. We're gonna go and explore tomorrow morning. We're gonna get up kind of early. If, you, if it sounds really noisy by the way, we've got our balcony windows open. I don't think I've shown you off of our balcony. Ali's doing a time lapse at the moment. Okay, so, oh, you go and walk into that. look at him. We're all dressed ready for the event tonight. Um, I'm finally getting to wear my self-portrait dress, but yeah, I'm not gonna mess up Ali's time-lapse, but this is our view at the moment. Look at that. And then if you look over the edge. So yeah, it's pretty cool being on the 23rd floor, even though it's very high up. So tomorrow we have a shoot at, it's after lunch actually, so we've kind of got like the whole day. And oh my God, I'm so glad that I tanned. Look how brown I am, I tanned last night. Usually I tan in the morning, but because I had to get up at 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m., I tanned the night before. And I am very, very tanned. I'm fitting in with the locals. Um, I was so pale when I got here yesterday. I'm actually quite tired. I would have napped if I had enough time, but I can never nap if I have like under two hours until I have to get ready because I just panic and um, I don't nap and I just get even more tired. So yeah, I just decided that I would lay in bed and not really do anything. I have got my first Instagram image, which is so annoying because I want to put it up now, but everyone's asleep, so I can't put it up. I have to wait. <laughs> but we're gonna get ready, well, finish getting ready and head downstairs and meet the rest of the crew. I met Matt, who Ali's traveled with a lot with long jeans, so that's cool. So this is my second outfit of the day because we're obviously going out and this is my self-portrait dress that you would have seen in one of my hauls and I've popped it with my Chloe Nile bag and some nude Manolo Blahniks. I don't think I need a coat because it's nice and uh, warm outside, it's quite humid actually. And I just redid my makeup. I've basically just got my usual base and then I've popped the L'Oreal Life is a Peach blush on my eyes. I use it on my eyes 
all the time so um, I really really like that it means I don't have to take like an eyeshadow palette with me I can just pop some of that in my crease <laughs> I always find that really funny when I say I pop it in my crease <laughs> yeah so I've just popped that on my eyes with a little bit of highlight and then I've got by Terry on my lips as well I'm actually really comfortable in this dress as well because it's kind of loose so if I'm gonna eat later on it really doesn't matter all of the room for the food baby <laughs> Lots of tea. Lots of tea. Very nice. Thank you. guarantees that no one's going to argue about the world record or the Commonwealth record because they know how good you are. Wow. Very cold. Well, at least it's hitting the ceiling now. It would have been yeah. great for us otherwise. Morning from the Gold Coast. I am currently in a towel. I've just been getting ready for the day. I haven't vlogged for, I think it's a day or two. Um, oh, my battery's gonna die. Bear with me one second. Sorry about that, guys. I've also just washed my hair, and you know when I wash my hair, I'm constantly like, ugh. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so I didn't vlog for a couple of days because we did a few things here for the Commonwealth Games and we weren't actually allowed to film for them. Sorry if there's loads of rubbish in the background, I've been getting ready. It just, rather than me just kind of like bring you along the way and just constantly tell you what we're doing and not being able to show you anything, I just thought I'd enjoy it, I'd relax and um, just kind of soak everything up. So we went to the opening ceremony last night of the Commonwealth Games, which was so incredibly inspiring and just so incredible to be there. Like we had the best seats in the house, literally me and uh, the Prince of Wales, we met at the L'Oreal, the Prince's Trust event at uh, St. James's Palace not long ago. Well, we were actually just above his little pew because he was there opening the games. And I was like, yeah, me and Charlie, we go way back. <laughs> We've had such a good time. And I mean, the weather's not been amazing. I'm not gonna lie. It poured yesterday and it's been quite windy today but um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning now and I've kind of let myself have a bit of a leisurely morning because I've just been so tired and not even like jet lag tired. It's coming back at like 10 o'clock and realizing that everyone is working back in the UK and having to sit up and do emails and like a video went live last night whilst I was asleep, which was a very surreal feeling because usually like I'm there and I'm pushing it live and I'm seeing everything that's happening. No, I woke up and my video had been like live for an hour. So that was um, very different. I've actually had two videos go live, like one when I was in the air, so I had no idea about that. And it's just, yeah, it was an experience. The long jeans team are amazing. It's something that I've not really um, come across that often in this industry. They have such a professional approach to working with creators, but yet, they're still so fun to work with. And then when you get the shots back, you're like, whoa, like Sam Bisso is such an insane photographer. It's unbelievable. I would love to shoot with him more. He's so good and his eye is just amazing. So um, we were joking that he's got like a grid on his eyes. He can just kind of see what everything will look like in frame. I've been hanging out with some other creators here as well. I finally met Matt Harnake, which Ali does a lot of work with, with long jeans when they travel together. He's like my new best friend. Like he is the, the love Loveliest, sweetest person and we've just been having so much fun literally I feel like he's my new best friend and he's just oh you know when you meet a guy and he's like that gorgeous and yeah he's so much fun oh I love him he's so sweet the main person that I have been so like I feel like I've just oh fallen in love with her so much more when I just started blogging I came across Oracle Fox now, I think I was introduced to her by Penelope. She was like my favorite blogger back in the UK. She was from Manchester. Um, her blog was Fashion Fade and she is just the most effortlessly beautiful and cool person. So she introduced me to um, Oracle Fox. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, so I didn't really know what she was like, but I just knew that she was always someone that I was incredibly inspired by. I was nervous about meeting her, especially because it can be a letdown. Like they always say, don't meet your idols or anything like that. And long story short, <laughs> even though it's already been very, very long. She is hands down the most beautiful hearted human I think I've ever come across. And that is something that you instantly, instantly get from her. Like it's not like a, you you kind of, as she speaks to you a little bit more, you get to see how like beautiful she is on the inside. 
it's instant. You're, it like hits you like a ton of bricks. You're like, wow, this person is incredible. Like incredible in a creative sense, but incredible in a human sense. And I'm like girl crushing so hard over her, it's unbelievable. I had to like keep my cool when she told me that she had watched one of my vlogs and that she was now hooked. I was like, so I feel like we've had quite a, like, quite a nice team of people on this trip and um, we've all got very like similar sense of humor and it's just been really, really enjoyable. So um, I've actually essentially finished off shooting for long jeans now, but I am gonna go and get some coupley pictures with Ali downstairs and um, that's kind of me done. So I've got today and then tomorrow because we don't fly until 11 p.m. Um, to Dubai and then we fly from Dubai to the UK. So I've got some time. Unfortunately, we're not getting to see as much of Australia as I would have liked to have done. I was just a bit worried. I, I mean, I already feel in my heart, I'm like, okay, I, I want to explore, but I also want to go home. And I'd love to just pop home quickly for like a day and then come back and explore some more. It's just the way that I am. I know that it's silly, but hopefully there is gonna be other opportunities for me to come back and come to like Sydney and uh, Melbourne and all of those places. But at the moment, I am on the Gold Coast. So I want to go to Pacific Fair. Everyone has told me that I have to go there. So um, that's the place I'm gonna go and have a shot because I'm a huge fan of Australian fashion. There are so many incredible brands over here and it really does resonate with my style a lot. So um, I want to go and do some shopping because it costs a fortune in the UK to get Australian designers. So I want to, um, stock up we did want to try and maybe make it over to byron bay because everyone has said that we need to go there as well but it's like an hour from where we are and the only time that we could possibly go is tomorrow and it's also school holiday so it's going to be busy i was literally just jabbering away to you and they're probably like who is that lady talking to um it was just the people that want to clean the room <laughs> i was like is it okay if you come back in an hour uh but yeah so hopefully um i don't know whether we'll be able to get over to byron bay because of the travel time and like obviously having to get a flight so that's a bit of a shame but we are going to go we have been out exploring and we've walked like all along the coast here and taken it all in and just met some so many lovely people here as well so i've had a really really nice time despite the weather it's been really cool and we've been with a really gr good group of people so um i have been jabbering on to you for so long for like literally 10 minutes so i'm gonna get ready for the rest of the day i'm gonna get dressed because it's looking nice and warm outside and uh i'm ready for my final days here in australia i'm back with this one he's been out shooting all morning <laughs> <laughs> and we're about to go down and just do a quick couple shoot with long jeans. And uh, then we're going shopping, aren't we? Yes. We just finished up shooting again. And just as we finished, it started raining again. So we're running back to the hotel before it washes off on my fake tan. <laughs> we finished up lunch. The boys have now gone off to shoot. And I have got dressed for shopping, basically. I'm wearing a me and M shirt. This is like an oversized kind of boy fit shirt. And then I've got my old, um, what are they called? Abercrombie and Fitch shorts, which I love. My new Gucci bag and then my Castagna wedges. You will have recognized these from last year. These are a wardrobe re-wear item. So I'm re-wearing these from last season. Probably gonna buy some more colors. They're like the best summer shoes ever. So these are what I'm wearing to Pacific Fair. I know that there is a um, Zimmerman shop there, so that's basically why I'm going. I wanna go and look at what they've got. And then just look around, because everyone says it's really good. So I thought that we could go together, and then tonight we are going for dinner somewhere. Uh, I'm not quite sure on what it's called. I'll have to let you know in a little bit. But yeah, we're going out for, for dinner um, this evening with the Long Jeans team, because it's like the last night. Everyone goes home tomorrow. So it's kind of going to be a bit of a celebration, which I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm actually a lot later than I planned to be. I ended up having lunch with everyone after the shoot and it just went on and on and it was late and blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to go and grab myself an Uber and head shopping. I'm so excited. I 
I'm back from shopping. I didn't actually like get as much as I thought I would. Unfortunately in Zimmerman, they literally had nothing in my size, like nothing. I tried on two dresses and they weren't right. I was just trying on them on for the sake of it. And there was this jumpsuit that I really wanted and they didn't have my size. I bought some bits from a shop that I, and a brand that I'd never heard of, but they're so beautiful. I think I'm gonna wear the dress tonight, possibly. Um, and then I bought some stuff from Running Bear, which is an Aussie, um, an Aussie gym wear brand that I've loved for ages and I've always wanted some stuff from them um, so I got a few tank tops and a cozy jumper and this really cool water bottle however I have just arrived to my room to a very big box from Sephora in Australia so um, I think we're gonna unpack this together before I get ready to go out for dinner do you know where we're going tonight for dinner babe uh, rickshaw rickshaw and I'm pretty sure it sounds like, it sounds like a ride at like a theme park I think it sounds like a type of fish. Okay. <laughs> I think some people said that it's really good though, Rickshaw. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, Rickshaw. Sure, Rick sure. Anyway, Ali's gonna be my trusty assistant. Yeah, see if I can stay awake. And yeah, I know we're both so tired. It's so annoying. We get to like the six, end of the six day. O six o'clock. And we're like, hard. yeah, cool, time to go out. And we're just shattered. We both fell asleep on the bus back from um, the Commonwealth Games opening ceremony last night. We were both sat next to each other like this. Everyone on the bus was like wasted because they got drunk at the um, ceremony. And we were just like, no. <laughs> Yeah, for it to be over. Yeah. <laughs> It says, to Lydia Elise Millen, welcome to Australia. We hope you enjoy what's inside. Love Kiara and the Sephora team. Aww. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's so much stuff. The glow powder, I've got this at home. This is um, a food supplement. This is so good. The Chaser Shine Cream Brilliance Dry Bar. So that's for your hair. Triple sec, three in one. Texture amplifies, refreshes, and the Mr. Incredible Ultimate Leave-In Conditioner. Ooh, Becca. Oh, it's all the different like color correctors. That's quite smart. Yeah, that's really cool packaging, isn't it? Yeah. Brightening, setting, and depuffing. Oh wow, cool. I could do some depuffing. You got some puffy eyes. Well, I don't know what I've got. I'll pop it. Fresh, the rose face mask, which I love. I've literally just written a blog post about this product and this range because um, it's amazing. So go to my blog, lydiaelismillan.com and give it a read. Then we have Sephora Extra Gentle Biphase Makeup Remover for Eyes and Lips. We have the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector, Vanilla Quartz. The Tarte Pro To Go palette. Oh wow, look at this. This is cute. She's carried it all home in. Yeah, although it feels like there's stuff in here. Oh. Oh, we got Tim Tams, babe. Oh what? Remember the thing that, that Matt told us that you're supposed to bite the end off and then the other end, he's, you drink your tea up, up here. Oh yeah. This is what we're supposed to have. The biscuits. Because, well, they're like kind of like penguins in the UK, but better. Oh, and yeah. basically, you drink your tea through it like a straw. Yeah. And it makes it go, like it all obviously goes mushy, and, and then you eat it. Ooh. We'll make tea after this because they've refreshed the. Yeah, tea does, they sound amazing. Vegemite. Vegemite. Um, these are dairy milk caramel caramello koalas. <laughs> Some alert. Freddos. Like Freddos, but the Aussie ones. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> This would actually be really useful as a um, travel big bag. Tan bag. Yep. Yeah. And then, oh, we have a Sephora style of my makeup bag. It's quite similar, mm. but no mirror. That's very useful for. I, I like how they match as well. That's very cute. Contouring is my cardio. And then I've got a Sephora towel. Oh, and a Sephora beach bag. Oh, that's so nice. I can't believe how much stuff I got. Thank you so much. I've like been completely spoilt. Oh, thanks guys. 
I, I missed this one. What is in here? Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. So we've got the Huda Beauty Lip Contour, which I've never tried. We've got the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Oh my God, these are all of their nudes. Oh, wow. We know you love a nude. Send nudes. This is the Tarte Lip Paint in Rosé. This is the Sephora Rouge Velouté Cream Lip Stain in Pink Peony and Pink Tea. And this is their lip stain as well. And this is shade... Nude. It's not just nude, Ali. And then we have some Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipstick in shade Honey. <gasps> All of the nudes. Oh, I love that. Oh, thank you so much. Happy. <laughs> Dinner. You aren't going to be able to see too clearly what I'm wearing because it's too dark around there, but I'm wearing the new blouse that I bought today when I was at Pacific Fair and I've popped it with some Joseph Chinos. I wanted to wear my um, long Joseph trousers, but I really need to take them to be loosened out because it, especially when I'm blo bloated like this, there's nothing I can wear that's that tight on me. So um, gutted, but these are comfy, nice and stretchy, so I can wear these. <laughs> Hello again. How are you? Very well, thank you. Matt, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> oh, wait, I have to like put the camera up here. You're like so <laughs> tall. I'll I'm just, like down here. I'll just duck down. <laughs> um, Matt's full of compliments this evening. He just told me that I had a nice outfit on. And he's also talking about my perfume now and he says it smells she like smells caramel. Lovely. What, what? I think that's what they were talking about in the bus. Oh really? It was you, yeah. Oh. Lydia has made a big influence on everyone. Oh, so you like my new perfume. Yeah. Oh, this, this makes me great going. lighting for the first I know. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> it's literally like, <laughs> oh, it's so dark. It's really nice here, isn't it? It is. It is pop here. Yes. our last day in Australia and we leave tonight at about 11 o'clock. If you can hear something, I'm running myself a bath, but more about that in a minute. Um, I we've, we've both started packing, so everything's kind of like a bit of a mess in here. This is all my stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna get it all home. I've still got to show you what I bought yesterday as well and I literally have no idea how I'm gonna get this all in my suitcase. Damn it. <laughs> I've got 40 kilos though, so it's not all bad. We're gonna just lounge by the pool or go to the beach today. It's been quite hectic since we've been here, as you probably can tell from the vlogging that has not really been happening. It's just kind of difficult when you can't like film lots of places, like we weren't allowed to film at the Commonwealth Games, so if you were um, hoping for footage from that, I'm really sorry, but we just weren't allowed. Um, some people were like, taking pictures and, and filming off and posting it afterwards, but I just didn't want to get told off. I've got a fear of being told off like massively. I am looking forward to going home 
so much. Like I'm just so excited to get home. At the moment, there's not really anything like trip-wise confirmed, but there's been some things that have come in. So um, we'll get to those later on in the year. But yeah, so I'm running myself a bath at the moment. The amazing people here at the Marriott delivered a huge bunch of flowers. I think it's actually two bunches of flowers to my room this morning and rose petals for me to have a bath because I don't know if I've already shown you the bath here, but it's insane. Like it is so, so beautiful and the view's out. So I, I just said to myself, I absolutely have to make use of the jacuzzi tub. So this is the current setup for my bath. Look at that view. It's incredible. I've got my flowers here and then my rose petals here to go in the bath. And I'm just so excited to have a very lovely jacuzzi bath with rose petals. So um, I'm going to be capturing some pictures, obviously, whilst I'm here, because this is so Instagrammable. It's unbelievable. Like, the views out of here are incredible. This is the swimsuit that I'm going to wear for the picture. This is from Fig Leaves. I think it's Sea Folly. It's a really nice, like, black uh, one piece, and it goes around your neck, and then it has these kind of cut-out details here. I might not wear this to the pool, though, because tan lines, but um, this is what I'm going to wear for the picture. I've got a Sea Folly bikini to wear instead. So I was setting up to take a picture, and Ali came back and he bought me a coffee. I didn't even have to ask him. When you're married, you kind of have to ask for these things, but he got it for me anyway. And we've just finished up shooting now and it was very, very funny. Um, being husband and wife, when you shoot a swimsuit, <laughs> cat like picture together, uh, it's quite funny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've now changed into this bikini from Sea Folly and it's absolutely beautiful. It's so nice and like uh, spring and summer. Oh, it's lovely. This one's from Fig Leaves and I really like it. And I'm going to wear this one down to the pool. If you can hear the plug, it's uh, <laughs> emptying there. And I took all of the rose petals out because you've got to be respectful when you're staying somewhere like this. Don't just leave them in there. So I tidied up and um, cleaned up and Ali's sorting things out. And now we're going to go and meet Matt by the pool and um, just spend a little bit of time in the sun because we actually haven't done that. And it's been, this is probably the nicest day it's been since we've been here, of course, when we're leaving. <laughs> just thought I'd show you this bikini a little bit better because it's actually so flattering on. I love the little ruffles. It always makes it a little bit like, um, more flattering, doesn't dig in quite so much when you've got these little ruffles, so I really like those. Absolutely love this sink here, it's so nice. It's like, it looks kind of brown on here because of the lights, I think, so, yeah. But it's more of like a pinky peachy marble. Then I've got some of my um, summer beauty essentials. So these will be great for like when you're away or traveling. Um, this is my favorite bronzer of all time. This is the Chanel Solo Tan de Chanel and I repurchase this every year. It's so beautiful on bare skin. So that's why I kind of use it a lot. Then I've got my Arizona fragrance from Proenza Scuola. I've got the new MAC Fix Plus Pink Light. I, n I never really was into the MAC Fix Plus thing, but this speaks to me. This is the kind of like glowy version. So I like to spray it all over my body. It's my Delatage? Delica <laughs> de de I have no idea. All over my chest. <laughs> when I finish my makeup or when I'm makeup free, it's just beautiful and gives you a nice glow. So I've been using that a lot. And then a little bit of Alnet as well. And then this is my makeup bag that's got my name on it. How cool is that? Anyway, I'm gonna stop holding Ali up now. We're gonna go down to the pool and catch some rays because I've been saying I'm gonna do that for about two hours. I'm starting to think that the only thing I needed to pack this entire holiday, what well, holiday, this entire trip was this shirt because I've just worn it all the time. This is my Me and M shirt and it's just slightly oversized and I'm just gonna wear it as a cover up down to the pool over my bikini. And then I've got my collapsed back Gucci loafers and my Sephora beach bag that they kindly sent in my care package. I've also got my towel in there. So we're gonna go chill by the pool. Nature Boy is in the water, looking for some fishies. So this is a salt water pool, which is actually, for me, kind of like the stuff of nightmares, if I'm perfectly honest with you. The base, oh gosh, I look quite pink, don't I? But I've got factor 30 on, so I should be all right. But um, when I was a kid, I used to have nightmares about um, there being 
fish in a pool that I was swimming in and they were huge fish and I absolutely hated it and um, yeah those were my nightmares as a kid so this being a saltwater pool with massive fish like you can see the fish from our balcony and our balcony is like one of the top floors yeah it's not my ideal thing but I've popped my feet in and it's not too bad it's nice and like it's cool but it's not it's not cold so that's quite nice but yeah haven't seen any fishies just yet but there was a big one over there earlier nature boy is putting his snorkel on <laughs> go catch us some dinner so I've just ordered myself a smoothie this is all blueberries and um, banana and all of the good stuff my body was like craving some goodness because I've kind of well I've not eaten badly actually I've eaten a lot of like fresh fish and veg and stuff but just needed some fruit so I've ordered this and also a whole fresh coconut <laughs> I absolutely love coconut water this actually tastes like the best I've ever had so there's lots of goodness in here lots of electrolytes so it'll make me nice and hydrated so I'm gonna enjoy this right here so my suitcase and hand luggage is packed and my suitcase was 30 kgs on the way out here I have no idea what it's gonna be going back but we have 40 kgs so um, hopefully it's not gonna to be too bad but yeah <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna close but it's got this really cool thing where you can like unzip it this is like the oldest suitcase in the world by the way but you can unzip it so that the top of it gets even bigger so this is the suitcase that I take when I mean business <laughs> I've literally worn none of the stuff that I brought with me. I'm so annoyed at myself. I don't know why I packed so much. I think it's because I knew that I was doing shoots out here that I just panicked and like panic packed. But yeah, lesson learned. Ali is currently cutting up some chicken. This little lizard here. Hungry little boy, isn't he? <laughs> oh, you messy eater. <laughs> He's got a belly like Lynx. When he pushes it on the floor, it goes all flat and splodgy. Ali is currently making me a cup of tea. We've come up to the Long Jeans Lounge, which is on the 27th floor. I've got no makeup left, and I've caught the sun underneath my eyes there, so my cheeks are so puffy. <laughs> Look at this view. There's such amazing views from these hotels down here. It's incredible. Look at this. Oh wow, look at the waves. I've never seen like water as sort of angry as it is here. It's incredible. But yeah, we're gonna um, try a Tim Tam for the first time because in my Sephora package they sent me loads of like goodies and they sent me Vegemite and um, Tim Tams and a koala, like it's like the koala version of a Freddo that we have in the UK, I don't really know. So we're on the last leg of our flight home. I've already done 14 hours. I couldn't believe it, how good I slept on the plane. I was literally like out. Oh, I was out for the count for like eight hours. I woke up, I was like, oh my God. Um, but yeah, we're on our flight from Dubai to England. And this is my favorite plane so far because we can actually like talk. I mean, if you're noisy, I can just do this. <laughs> Ooh, are you having champagne? Can I have champagne please? Thank you. Thank you. Cheers babe. So we're not allowed to sleep this flight. I slept on the other flight. So no sleeping. It's gonna be lots of coffee, lots of lots of conversation. Yeah. And lots of movies as well. So, um, but actually, I don't know that bad considering. No, because you can't plug anything in yet. Yeah, I've got 100% battery. That's not loud. Well, it looks like it's just going to be me and you guys. This is what married life looks like. Do you like my sockies, babe? <laughs> you like them?
This is all yours for the rest of your life.